We have uh, we have a man in the back, uh, Bomber. You've got a question. Uh, kia ora, uh, all of the candidates. Thank you so much for coming along and uh, giving us this chance to ask you some questions on broadcasting. Uh, my question is 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 this: uh, in light of the dirty, filthy, disgusting media manipulations. Um, we've seen in Nikki Hager's book Dirty Politics by the National Party and their allies. That was How important do each of the candidates think a properly funded public broadcaster actually is to the quality of our democracy so that our fourth estate is actually a watchdog and not a lapdog? So Thank a, you. a lot of the people have already um, touched on this question. Would anyone like to, I feel like a lot, of, we've heard from a lot of people already have said it's quite important. Does anyone else want to add anything? Lila, you were going to... Um, just to add to the comments I made in my opening statement, um, we want to explore the opportunity to fund, additionally fund, um, proper regionally based sort of teams of journalists completely independent of the state, but under the public broadcasting and public journalism model, who would have access to public data, public information, under a completely transformed freedom of information system. At the root of the Dirty Politics book um, and experience is the, um, the, the highly restricted, restrictive official information environment that we have the fact that it is possible to manipulate the OIA process um, for political gain, as many of the worst stories in the book highlight. Um, so underlying this, we need a proactive um, freedom of information system, but we also need an effective way for journalists to research and analyse that information, because frankly, if we open the government's books right now, our newsrooms and our journalistic culture does not have the cap capacity um, or arguably the capability to, um, to, to, to analyse that information in the public interest. Um, so there will need to be significant resources put into enabling investigation of the government if, um, when, when we open up and make more transparent our public information. I find it deeply ironic that Lila Hare stands here preaching about dirty politics when uh, the founder and bankroller for the party has made his uh, reputation and has for many years been an illegal hacker himself. And as for Bomber Bradbury, the impartial voice of the left, uh, you know, get real. Dirty filthy is something you know a lot more about than I do. And you're not, the integrity and the standards that we see in mainstream broadcasting are pretty much an unknown to you, which is fine, because these bloggers and these people that come into our country and try and hijack and buy our democracy are doing illegal stuff all the time, the whole time. So, you know, Nikki Hager's book is based on leaked and stolen and illegal emails. So let's get a reality check around some of this rhetoric. And I know you probably don't ever speak to anyone who doesn't think the way you do, Bomber, but I'll say you'll... Will you now? Well, that's fine. Well, you, you're getting paid for being a candidate, which none of us have ever got done. You're sucking on the German's purse, and you should be elected before you get paid to be a candidate. This is not democracy, and this is not New Zealand as we know it. It's ridiculous. And you're being hijacked and kitted along by a guy who has been a convicted fraudster for a legal Excuse me, hacking. I've been handed the microphone. This is, this is, this is, this is gold. This is gold. 